Hi there everybody, my name is Casey and this is the Man Cave. Today I'm going to do a video on microphonic feedback. So I've got a couple of guitars that they make a lot of racket. I mean these things just start squealing anytime you get them around the amplifier that's turned up even a little bit. And you know I watched a video on um, Dylan Talks Tones channel about how to fix this problem with microphonic um, pickups and it looks like a pretty easy fix and so what we're going to do in today's video is try that so first I'll start off by showing you what the problem sounds like before I fix it and then we'll get the guitars on the bench take off the pickups and kinda of go through how you do that and then we'll see if it actually works so stay tuned Hi there everyone, my name is Casey. Welcome to my channel and thanks for checking out my video. So, I have two guitars I have a problem with. One of them is this Fender American Pro Tele Deluxe. It's a lovely guitar, I love the way it sounds. Except for the one issue. And the second guitar I'll show you in a minute is a Fender Alternate Reality 66. It's a made in Mexico special run sort of model. Anyway, I have a problem with both of these guitars. It's the same problem. The problem is, is that when I get my amp up to rehearsal sort of volume, so we're talking about like four to five, and we're not talking about the, we're, we're, it's a little bit of gain, like medium gain, let's say. It's not super high gain, but medium gain and the volume at about four or five, and I'm usually playing through my Fender Supersonic 22 here. It's not a super loud amp, okay? It's, it's loud enough, but the problem is, is that both of these guitars just start squealing, like really bad. Um, not the good kind of feedback, but the squealy, yucky kind that every time you're not playing something, it just starts squealing. Um, let me demonstrate the problem here real quick. Let me turn my amp up and turn the guitar up. There it is already, right? Anyway, not good, not good. Uh, let me show you how it works on the Fender 66 as well. All right, here's the Fender 66. One kind of feedback was pretty cool there for a second, but the other kind, whenever you mute the strings, it's just, oh, can't do it. It's too terrible. So obviously that's not going to work if you're playing in a, in a live situation. That's just, it's going to upset the crowd, I think. So what I, what I intend to do today is to try a potential fix for it that doesn't look to be too terribly hard. I saw this fix on the Dylan Talks Tone channel, and the fix is... So you'll notice that both of these guitars have these humbuckers with metal covers. So the fix, the problem is possibly that when the amp is a little bit louder, it's setting up a vibration between the metal cover and the pickup underneath. And so what you want to do is put something in between the pickup and the cover that suppresses that vibration. So um, what Dylan Talks Tone says to do is put just some candle wax in there and sort of melt it in between the pickup and the cover, maybe using a hair dryer or something like that. So what I want to do in this video is demonstrate how you would actually do that um, on both of these guitars. So I'll do the whole process of you know, taking the pickups out and getting the cover off and putting the wax in and melting it, putting it back together, and then we'll come back and we'll test both of these guitars and see did Dylan Talks Tone and others method for fixing this um, problem. Does it actually work? So let's get to it. All right, so we'll try taking the pick guard off. By the way, I just want to say for the record that I've never taken the pick guard off of a guitar before and I've never soldered before, so 
Here, here goes nothing. That. I forgot to do that video up there. Let me, <laughs> let me go turn that one on. Here, I'll, I'll oh, yeah. the screwdriver. Good I'll deal. do that. I should go get a little cup. But... And this is Jennifer's yoga mat. Perfect. It's a perfect guitar there mat. There we go. Too. Maybe it kind of has some funky yoga sweat on it, but it's all right. It just adds to the mojo. More grip. More it mojo. has experience on the grip. <coughs> Both of these guitars. You know, are not very old, so I'm kind of surprised that like I'm getting this feedback problem. You think with modern pickups, but you know that haven't uh, haven't undergone the stress of a tour or something like that, that they would you know, right. not be that immediately be feeding back. Beat. So I'm not sure what Fender's doing. They're both stock pickups, so Fender better get with it. Get with the program to right. switch to Gibson. Give a shit if they were made in Japan or wherever. Get it right. Well, this one's the Mexican made, made but my American made one that's having the same issue, so Ooh. I don't know. What the deal is? I didn't even notice this is a shorter bridge. Yeah. So, what Ed and I are not sure about, we probably could have watched a YouTube video, but we're not sure if we have to unscrew. Those pickups from the pickguard, or if this thing will just kind of lift off, looks like. Mm, voila! Voila! Come right Look at that. Dun dun dun! There we, we go. go. Okay. So, our next thing that we need to do is we need to cut that bead of solder here and here so that we can take the pickup cover off. We may be able to do this. Without even taking the, maybe it'd be easier if we took the pickup out of the guard. So I'll do these screws here that hold mm -hmm. hold this in, mm -hmm. and we could work with the other thing a little bit easier. Maybe I should get like a towel or something to put it. Yeah, here, let me grab the one that I had. Okay. You want me to hold? Got two screws. Uh, sh make sure the screwdriver will do the job. Yep. Gotta watch out for that spring. Yeah. Show you that. Okay. All right. So everything on the internet said just cut this with a laser. Uh, not a laser, but a <laughs> razor. <laughs> so I don't have a laser that will cut through this bead. Yep. Yeah. Mm, no chance. Oh shit! <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> Just pop. Okay, I think we got it. So maybe let's. Okay, we're gonna have to bleep that out. This is a family show. <laughs> Guitar's going to smell lovely. Yes. Kind of a exactly. lavender or something, I don't know. <laughs> the new age. <laughs> Hopefully it's the right kind of wax that this candle's made out of. I'm sure it is. Oh, I need to go get a blow dryer too. I forgot about yeah, that. I we could get that later. Here in a second. Keep that. I know and I have a, a super one of those industrial blow dryers. Oh, right. For, like, for wiring. I suppose you could maybe just put the soldering iron to the metal here and just let it. Could, theoretically. I don't know. I'm not the sure. The blow dryer will probably do it. I'm not sure what the right amount 
of this stuff is, but I guess maybe you can just you want to hold. Yeah, that's too big. That's of a too chunk. big. Yeah. Some pieces like. I don't know what the right amount is, but I'll try not to do it too sparingly. So I want it to work. I don't want to do it again. I saw on the, on the line that some people were using like some double-sided tape. And just oh, it, interesting. And just putting it over those yeah. slugs. Um, hmm. Dylan talks to him, man. He seems like he knows what he's talking about. He has an engineering degree or something, you know, so. I don't know, though. I know a lot of engineers. I don't know if that's really a ringing endorsement or not, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's back to the over-engineering uh, concept that we had there. there. Go ahead and hold it. Yeah, let okay. me. Got it. I'll smash this on here, and then we'll okay, go get the hair dryer. Finger out of the way here. It's up, it's out. Yeah, that's going to. That wax is pretty soft, so maybe I can kind of get a good smush. Yeah. Some of it's coming up through the holes there. That's okay, I guess. And then, so then the advice is to heat up the area first, like where you're going to put it, and you want the place where you want the solder to go to be between where you're heating it and where mm -hmm. you're coming in with the solder. So, okay. what so springs yeah, and screws. It. Springs and screws. So this shouldn't be too hard. That's good. Get it started. Good. Let me get the. There we go. Good. Let me get this tape out of the way here real quickly. Jeez. I'm trying to avoid doing this particular yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You don't want it. Usually it's funny in the same way. If I have to use brute force, do I really want to use brute force? Yeah, that you can yeah hear that can exactly. Like, it's got something yep. up in there that's. Foam. It had, huh. it had some stuff. Check it out. Get it. Yeah, it's a foam of some type. It was glued on. 
don't know if that shows up on the camera, but like, yeah, there's some sort of like a sticky foam thing. Hmm. Well, now we know, know why it's so hard to get off of there. Yep. So that would have you think that caused would have... that would have stopped vibration, however, I would have thought. Get into the topper. I did. Oh shoot! That'd be really bad. Yeah, yeah, could be. Let's take a peek once we get a pill back and see what you could tape it up. Might have just been the sort of shit on the outside of it. Yeah, I think it's just that nylon. Okay, cover. good deal. Okay, got it. Whew. Oh man. No. Yeah. I can't tell what I did to it. That was bad. Though. You got just a neck here. That's. That's fucked up then, isn't it? Yeah, because you need to keep the circuit. can't break the circuit. Oh, that sucks. Oh, well. We'll edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm getting some new pickups anyway, so. Uh, that sucks, though. Hmm. No. Well, just curiosity, just looking... You can see some down here, right? But you don't think I don't think you did that. So will that? Just so you know, I stick it back in there and just see what happens. Yeah. Maybe it'll make it sound really special. <laughs> Who knew? That is your head, right? Not the Are not the bridge, reach, though. Seems like so this one's got a longer wire on it. So I'm making me think that that one goes up in there. Okay. Jeez. I have to have a better system of like. Yeah, we should have marked them. I should have marked them. Here we go. Well, Lesson. Life's lessons. Hence, reason number two why to keep the blue tape handy. All right, we're back from the bench. Got the guitar strung up, tuned up, and it's the moment of truth. Will the wax between the cover and the pickup solve the squealy microphonic feedback problem? Does Dylan know what he's talking about? All will be revealed now. So let me go take the amplifier off standby. I've left you know all the settings the same as it was before, and I'll just... Um, just see if it squills. All right, let's turn on the volume. Before, remember before, even when I turned the volume on, it started squealing, so we'll see what happens here. Okay. 
Okay. All the way up. Here we go. Maybe a tiny bit, but I can't tell if that's just regular feedback or the squeeze. Certainly not doing it as bad as it was before, but I thought I heard a little bit of a really high. Could be just some sort of natural harmonic, though. Sounds like it's working right to me. That's encouraging. Awesome. I guess, Dylan, you know what you're talking about, man. Really fixed the problem. That really is going to, that makes me happy because this guitar was fairly unusable except for just, you know, practicing by myself. But if I was playing in a group, and like I tried it in a few rehearsals and it just meh, started squealing. So now this guitar is usable for me. I'm also gratified that I didn't screw the pickup up. It, it was really difficult to get the cover off of these pickups because um, on the on these shawbuckers, I guess that's the kind of pickups here, they Fender installs this like uh, foam thing in between the the pickup cover and the pickup and it was really glued on tight, man. It was stuck. I had to get a screwdriver and start prying it out. And on the bridge pickup I actually caught some of the copper coils. There's some little copper wires going around there. And they were sort of frayed out and sticking out there. And I thought, oh shit. I've screwed up the pickup. It's not going to work, but it works. Or at least it sounds like it works. Um, maybe I did some magical improvement to the pickup by, <laughs> by messing up the copper winding. But it seems, to, it seems like it's okay, so I'm happy about that. In a future video, I'm going to put some Cunefe pickups in this very same guitar and see how those sound and do a sound comparison. So I'm glad I've got this one working. Let's see how it worked for the... Uh, Fender 66. Okay, so on this one we just had the one humbucker that we fixed. Now I will just point out that when we took this one apart, there was nothing in between the uh, cover and the pickup like there was on the, the American Pro. Um, so yeah, Fender really didn't do much to suppress that. Um, you know, that problem on this guitar. So I don't, I don't know why they don't do something about that, but on the American one, they did. They, evidently, they tried to avoid that problem. I don't know why, in spite of having that foam inside there, it still was, you know, being microphonic like that. But this one didn't have anything in there. So we put some candle wax in there. Let's see how it works. So I got it on the bridge pickup. Let's fire it up. It's not squealing. Before it started squealing, just as soon as I turned the volume up. It seems like it fixed this one too. That's awesome. There's still this microphonic thing. You know, if you hit the guitar, you can hear it um, through the pickups. But at least it's not squealing like crazy. So I'm gratified that this guitar is going, going to work for me now. And it's a really cool guitar. You know, it's got these Tele pickups. And it's got a humbucker. Seems like it's a different twist on anything I've ever had before. So I'm looking forward to trying this out in the band situation. All right, I think that's all I've got for you for today. Um, thanks so much for coming by and watching my video. Um, if you like this video, you know, give it a like or maybe even subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye now.